Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be going over this marbling paint kit that I got off of Amazon. So I think the price was around $15. Um, and I just want to put a quick disclaimer that this video isn't sponsored. And I have actually used this um, kit before once. And I didn't really use it professionally. I kind of just wanted to play around and see what it did. And it was a mess. So we're going to go in and try to do it better this time. And I wanted to review it and take you guys with me. And as always, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, guys. So I just want to start off by showing you guys the box. So it's a nice blue cardboard box. This is the front. Um, it gives you a list of all the materials that are included. So we have one one stylus, sorry, three styluses, I can't read, 12 dies, one pipette, one scraper, one instruction, one measuring spoon, 10 marbling float paper, one carrageenan, carrageenan, whatever, something like that, I'm sorry, and one tray. And it also tells us that it's three plus, so it's for kids. And um, caution, uh, it tells us to be careful because there's a choking hazard. Okay. And then the back shows us images of how each of the things look like. So, yeah. So let's just open this up. So just so you guys know, the way you open it is there's these two flap things right here. And you just pull one out. It just lifts really easily. Okay. Okay, so the box includes, like I said before, the carrageenan powder. Um, it's a powder, and it's safe and non-toxic, and it has 15 grams in it. Um, then it also includes the scraper. Not really much to it, just a green scraper. Then we also have the measuring spoon, which, again, just is a me measuring spoon. Then we also have the piquette, which is shown now. And then um, we also have three styluses. I'm only showing you one because that's the one I'm going to use. It's honestly just kind of like a plastic stick. And then we have 12 different colors, including red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, blue, turquoise, a dark blue, dark purple, I'm not sure yet, purple, and a pinkish purple color, white, and black. Okay, so before we continue the video, I would just like to say how much I actually kind of like this plastic, um, layout because i like how each thing has a place so you just need to keep this box safe and all your stuff is one place and you don't have to have like a separate pouch or something for it so um when i'm going to be doing an example or just doing or using this kit i'm going to be following the instructions step by step to make sure we get it right and can get the best one we can do so um the stuff i didn't include in my um little collage of everything in here is the instructions so it's very simple it's like only a few pages like maybe 10 or something and there's not really any words i think it just shows you how to do each thing so these are the different steps what i also didn't show was the paper included um this one i think what type of paper it is it's marbling float paper so this will work for the whole float marbling process and the tray that they gave us to do the art on so i'm just going to kind of put my box to the side i'm going to kind of just organize myself by putting all the materials here my tray in the center instructions here and then i'm going to be getting a piece of the paper out so this is all kind of i guess live i've done this before but that was like a long time ago and this is kind of just what happens happens i'm not prepared for this i don't know really what we're doing and it was a mess last time i actually can show you that artwork at the end and we can compare it to this so and we can see if i improved um so let's start off by just reading the first page of the instructions so we need to prepare 500 milliliters of water in the container and add two spoons of carginon into water as a thickener so that special paints would not dissolve in water are used. So that special paints would not dissolve in water are used. What? That doesn't make sense. Into water as a thickener so that special paints would not dissolve in water are used. I don't think they used that grammatically correct, but it's okay, it's okay. Then you need to mix them up evenly. 
you will see thick and blending liquid and they include a little picture so i'm just going to quickly go get the water like i said was not prepared for this so i'll meet you guys back here in like 25 minutes Okay, so I got my water. I don't know how much 500 milliliters is, so we're just gonna guess. Um, so I remember when I first did this, I put the water in the tray and I put the powder on here. And that's the only thing, I think that's where I went wrong because that, I think, messed up the whole thing. And I was rereading the instructions and they don't say to put on the tray, they say um, in, in the container, which isn't the tray. So I'm just gonna do it in here because I think it's the best way to really handle it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my powder, and I know I said this was like a live reaction, but that's the only thing like I'm, you know, knowing from before. So I'm going to take two scoops of Carginon. I honestly feel like such a chemist right now. So we're going to take one scoop, put that in, and let's just take another scoop. It's like, I don't know if you can hear this, but like... It's like all kind of like stuck. I don't know if it's like stuck together, I guess, but not stuck together. Like the sounds it's making sounds like it's stuck together. So um, I'm going to just close this and then I'm going to take the scraper and it's said to mix evenly. So yeah, I already know this is going bad because I just now kind of realized that this was hard for me to do. I don't know why because this is meant for three plus. So I'm just going to, did I say scraper? I don't know. I'm going to take the stylus i'm so sorry i'm just it's not my day today i'm just going to mix it I literally have no clue what to do um this is what happened last time i've been mixing for so long and i added another scoop of the powder but it's just it's not dissolving properly or something because i keep on mixing it and it just the clumps are staying there and i don't know what to do um i don't know what to do like this is annoying i literally have no clue what to do do I just use it and go for it and see what happens? Well, I don't think that's going to work out good, but I guess we can see. I guess we have to kind of just go with this. We don't really have any other options. So I'm just going to get my tray here. I'm just going to pour this here. Okay. Oh no. No. So what I remember... I just dropped my stick into this thing and now it's like gooey. So I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna take another stylus. So I think what happened last time when I did this was this exact same thing happened, but it, basically these little dots ended up just being white clumps or something. So I'm gonna do to prevent that, or not prevent that, make it stylish. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this, and I'm just adding more powder, I guess, and I'm gonna make some design with this white stuff. So I'm just going to move all this white stuff to the side. I, I like have no clue what I'm doing. I'm kind of just doing my own thing now. Because this isn't working out, guys. This isn't working. I'm just going to move all the big clumps to the side. Oh, how should I do this? You can't even see the clumps. Um. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it like this. Where I just put them all kind of to the side. I'm going to add some more to this side. How is this for kids? I don't even know how to use it. I think that just says a lot about me, not the product. 
And if any of you know how to like actually use this, please feel free to tell me and let me know in the comments. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just make I'm just gonna make kind of. What am I doing? Um. Oh. I'm gonna make an X. I don't know why. It just seems easy and the least problematic thing to do. So um, I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure how this is showing up on the camera, but this is kind of what I'm doing. I'm kind of just wasting all my powder on this, but it's okay. This is not how you're supposed to do it. Um, if you actually want to use this, probably go to a different video. This isn't working out how it's supposed to be, but yeah. Okay. So now that we have this, the only reason I'm not adding the powder to the whole thing, if you're wondering, is because when I did this last time, the powder was like the white spots. So I don't want that. Like, I don't want the whole thing to be white. So now I'm just going to move this glass off the way so you guys have a better view. And now what I'm going to do is go to the next page, I guess. Let's pretend we have this whole thing set. Okay. So you basically, I guess, just pour the dye and hope for the best. Mm. So wait, do I put the paper on top later? Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna do my dye design and then I'm just gonna put the paper on top. Um, so how do I want this to be? I guess we're just gonna kind of wink it and see what happens. I wanna use a bit of every color so you guys get an idea of how it looks. So we're just gonna start off with the red and I don't I didn't get a chance to say this before, but I really love the packaging, like the droppers and everything. And I'm struggling to open it. We love that. And we're not gonna try every color because it's not opening. Okay, new idea. Let's just make this as gorgeous as possible. So let's go for I'm gonna, I'm instantly just going for this. This is a mess. I'm instantly just kind of going for this color. Oh, again, cannot open it. If I can open this, I'm quitting. Can I open this? I was kidding, I'm not quitting. I just spent the past hour when I was trying to do this. Oh my god, yes, this ugly green works. Okay, let's try this one. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening. really facing some difficulties. Okay, yay, this one opens. So as I was saying, I really like the packaging. I think it's a really cute idea. So I'm gonna take this and I guess, how do I wanna do this? I literally have no clue what I'm doing right now. I guess I'm just gonna. This is so much fun to do. Okay, so that's that. I guess I'm just gonna score a bunch of colors into here. And I'm just going to, you know, kinda, yeah, I can move this around a bit. So the reason I got this, um, I don't do, usually do three-year-old drawing products. Usually, I'm just thinking back to my last video, which was about pearl crayons, but still. So usually I don't buy stuff like this. The only reason I got this was because my dad actually got it and it was he wanted to do calligraphy and he wanted a cool background so he just bought this and this one is open either um so yeah this is how we got here i don't know why i'm so weak there you go and now i'm just going to do a little collision over there you can't even see that that well collision and now i have an idea i'm going to close my eyes and i'm just going to kind of just go for it I think, I, I think I went a bit overboard with that. It's okay because already is really bad. Um, let's try this green. Okay. This 
this like squeezing the bottle thing is literally kind of satisfying this looks so bad my other one looked so much better on me i'm sorry youtube i didn't mean to do this oh my god now it thickens no joke this whole thing is thick now but there's like so crumbs of powder i don't know what life just hates me you know okay we're gonna make this cool this is gonna work i'm gonna go and get some yellow basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just do the on the corners and it's just kind of fun here and it's gonna kind of speak a story you know and i really just want to get the corners yellow that's like it's the yellow the main part okay and i kind of know because i'm just going over everything now i have a new idea now that this is kind of working the orange it's just the only problem with this was i was impatient and Probably most three-year-olds are more patient than me, so that's not a problem for them, but it was for me. And I'm just going to go through the sides with this orange, and I'm going to kind of mix it with the yellow so we get some nice, like, contrasting colors. Okay, now we're going with this. So I really just, like, do the whole thing. Did I just use... I'm so stupid. How do you even do that like within like 10 seconds? I have real time guys. Right, now I'm just gonna kind of go in with the blue and basically with the blue I'm gonna trace that X outline kind of. Then I'm also gonna go through the side. So it's gonna be and there goes the blue. Okay, and now I'm going to we don't have that many colors I can open, so we don't have a lot to work with. But I think let's go in with some black. Like I know black is a bit risky, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I think we can do it. So basically with the black, what I want to do is kind of I want to have the darkness in the colors. So we're just gonna do Over the yellow randomly mixed in with other colors I know a lot of people are scared to work with that I'm not because it's just a color guys uh, uh, you guys probably I don't think you guys can even like properly see what I'm doing here but it looks gorgeous basically I'm just throwing out these colors and making it last. Now we're going to use the white because to represent the, the light within the dark. I'm just going to kind of randomly throw that around. And I think I'm done. I think it looks gorgeous. I'm just going to kind of lift that. Oh, guys. So basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paper. I don't know where to put this. Because I'm just going to, I'm going to put it on top. Like this. I want to make sure it gets properly soaked. Oops. And I'm just going to sit here. And we'll read the instructions and see what it tells us to do, which I probably should have done first. Okay, I'm just going to touch, it doesn't say how long you're supposed to do it, which isn't exactly the best thing not to include. So I'm just going to kind of go over all the spots. And now we have this. I'm sorry you guys didn't have a good angle. You missed out on all the fun. I don't know how I'm supposed to pick this up. Um, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. What? I'm speechless. 
just goes like I can see what happened. There's chunks on it. I'm trying to get those off. And then I'll show you guys. I'm sorry. This is sad. I promise there's not always crazy content like this. Unless you like that stuff. Because then there are. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll get back to you guys. Guys, I don't know what happened. I had a moment where I just kind of went crazy. And how everything's a mess. Uh oh. I'm not going to spoil how the paintings look. And then um, the worst part on my carpet. Don't tell my parents about this. Okay, guys. So, I wasn't going to show you until the grand reveal. But um, I'm just going to show you now because I'm throwing this away. This is too messy. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. And I can't wait that long. So, I actually did too. I just put another sheet of paper on because, you know, last minute. I was like, there's too much liquid. I didn't feel like wasting all of it. I think get my hands dirty and my desk dirty again, but it's okay. Oh no, they're attached. We'll be right back. So we first have this one. Um, I actually don't think it turned out too bad. There's still some clunks in it. I don't know why I'm touching it because now I have to wash my hands again. See, this is kind of what happened when I was off camera. So that's that. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it crumble it put it here and now i just made my desk dirty but it's gonna end up in the trash then we have this one um there's some white spots here and here and here but i think it actually turned out pretty well i'll make sure to show you guys the um other marble painting i made and now we have to clean this whole thing up again Ugh. this is literally what happened last time why am I doing it? Why am I not stopping? Why is there so much fun? <gasps> I'm sorry. I've only made three videos and I'm already making you guys think I'm a psycho. So, bye. Okay, guys. So this is um, my original piece from the marbling kit. And um, as you can see, there's quite a few white spots. Not that many colors. So despite the mess, I do like the ones I made today more. Even though they're in the trash now. But still. But, just in case you wanted to see it, here this is. Okay guys, please like and subscribe and comment on this video. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy doing it. I'm sorry it got a bit messy at the end and in the beginning. And I just realized I didn't use any of the tools. I didn't use the scraper and I didn't use like the piquette. I don't know if it's a piquette. Like the little dropper thingy. And I just want to say, they didn't put it in the instructions, so I literally completely slipped my mind until I was cleaning up. So sorry about that, and sorry this video was such a mess, but please like and subscribe. Thank you!